Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you how to use Breakdance's global typography settings to easily create responsive typography styles that will affect your entire website in just a few clicks. So to show you what these styles are going to do, I'm going to create a page with a few different headings and text elements. So I'm going to add a heading 1, and I'm going to set the tag to H1. Then I'm going to duplicate this, call it heading 2 and I'm going to set the tag to H2, duplicate again, set the tag to heading 3, um, command C, command V to duplicate again, H4, and so on until we have H5 um, and H6. So these are our different heading sizes. This is just an H1 HTML tag down to an H6 HTML tag. And then I'm going to add some body text. So I'm just going to add a text element to the site as well. And just to space these out for purposes of this demo, I'm going to click the section, I'm going to go to Layout, and I'm going to go to Gap, and I'll give 20 pixels gap between each of the headings. Now, I'm going to create the styles for each of these headings and the body text in Breakdance's Global Settings. So to open the Global Settings, go to the dot 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 menu and click Global Settings. And then go to Typography. And I'm going to go into Ratio Control. Ratio controls how much bigger heading 1 is than heading 6. So if I set a ratio of 1, you'll see that heading 1 is exactly the same size as heading 6 in the body text. If I set a ratio of 2, you'll see that heading 5 is twice as big as heading 6, heading 4 is twice as big as heading 5, etc. Approximately. Um, so 2 is probably much too high for most sites, and 1 is, of course, too small. Let me show a typical use case of the ratio control. Maybe on desktop, you want your body text to be this big, and you want to have big headings. But on mobile devices, you definitely don't want your headings to be this big, but you still want your body text to be the same size. So let's go down to phone portrait. Headings are way too big. Well, we can set ratio responsively. We can set 1.6 for desktop, and then we can set a much smaller ratio for, for a phone. So I'd say H 1.3 or maybe even smaller like 1.2 would be fine for a phone and 1.6 is fine for desktop. And then we probably want 1.5 for the tablet breakpoints, 1.4 for a phone, phone landscape type breakpoint, maybe 1.3. And as you can see now with just one control we've created responsive sizes for our typography. It's going to be readable and beautiful on all devices that easily. Now you can change the base size as well. The base size is the size the body text is by default and that's also responsive. So you could make that say 20 pixels or 23 pixels on desktop. We should probably turn down our ratio if we make it that big on desktop. Um, and then we could make it smaller on other devices, right? We could go down here, we could say maybe we only want it to be 18 pixels on this device and only 16 pixels on that device. So now using two controls, we've made the body text bigger on desktop, smaller on mobile devices. The desktop preview is actually scaled down here, that's why it doesn't look bigger, but if you view this on the front end, it will be bigger. And if you don't want the preview to auto scale so it fits on your screen, no matter how big or small your screen is, you can go to Preferences and Disable Scale Content to fit the screen. This will show it at the full size, but it might mean you need to side scroll, which is not fun. So I personally like to keep auto scaling on. So there we go, that's how to create responsive typography styles using just two controls. Now let's take a look at the more advanced options for typography. So if you go to advanced, you'll see you can control all of the typography styles for every single heading on a granular level. So if you want H1 to be exactly the size you choose, you can set that right here. If you want H1 to have a specific font family and you want your other headings to not have a specific font family or have a different font family, you can do that right there. If you want your default H1 color to be different, you can set that right there. You have all the different line height, letter spacing, word spacing, etc. for all of your different headings, H1 through H6, or you can set it for all headings. Um, so that basically allows you to override what you've created with base size and ratio on a 
per heading basis. So you can do the same for body text. Uh, you can choose your default styles for links. Um, we also have typography presets. Um, I will show those in a different video, so you can check the description for the link for the typography presets video. And to upload a custom font, you can do that in preferences. I will have a different video on how to upload your own fonts. Okay, that's how to do global typography in Breakdance. Thank you very much for watching.